Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dara Tapadinska International Nail Artist and Educator here and I have prepared a really pretty combination for you today, white and gold. It looks absolutely fantastic and the main thing is so quick and easy to do it. Have a preview of it in here. Yes, that's what we are going to create today and I hope you will really enjoy learning this design. So let's start! Amazing combination today, white and gold, and I think this color is a must-have as well, 169. I love it so much for the Christmas because it's like a sparkles in a bottle and it looks different under different lights, so it's absolutely amazing. Uh, looks so pretty, you can guys see it. Well, let's cook it. And I'm going to do three same backgrounds. It looks awesome on its own. It looks also awesome on top of the white or any other color um, you could like imagine. Let's cook it. Now, next step, we are going to matte top coat it. So I just need a couple seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare my white French gel. And if you don't have it, you have to have it. Like you cannot create designs without of it. Like any kind of designs I'm doing are with this gel. Okay, first one is ready. So we are going to matte top coat it. Or top coat in matte. Second one as well. Let's top coat it. And another one. The reason why we top coating it is because we want to do it white and gold combination. And I think it's like absolutely amazing for Christmas. So I've got first tip ready and we are going to give it a couple scratches to it. So just grab the buffer and scratch it. Once you're happy with it, clean it and put it on the side. Then we are going to do exactly the same on another one. You can see it like um, there are bits and pieces coming of it. So if I wouldn't clean it, my foil could stick in into wrong places. And buff this one as well. Okay, I shouldn't be rushing this step. I hope I didn't miss any bit, uh, but I don't want to keep you waiting for the nice part of this video. So let's hope this is enough. <laughs> okay, on the mixing plate, we are going to grab the transfer foil gel. Just a decent scoop of it. And the first design, like very quick and easy. I mean, I wanted to make them, because we have created a few of those advanced ones, I thought it is a time to do some really simple and easy ones too. So I'm just grabbing those uh, transfer gel and we are going to paint triangle. So you can see it, the places which I'm painting are becoming shiny. 
And what I'm doing is I'm just painting uh, the actual triangle. I'm even not too fast like how I paint it. And then I'm going to cook it. This one, I'm going to grab my dotting tool. And I'm going to do some snowflake. And who doesn't love gold snowflakes? Quite difficult task because we are painting on the with invisible gel, then drag it. I am actually extremely curious how this will turn out because I never try it. Do the gold snowflake before. I don't know why I should have. Dotting tool and couple dots. Then we are going to make a cross and here. Cure it. So quick and easy. Transfer foil. Now I've got some uh, cuticle oil on my hands because I was doing dishes <laughs> and my hand got really dry. You can see it. Um, this will make my task extremely difficult because of those oils in my hands. You can see the transfer fingers like the oils. So I'm going to test it, how good the gel is. It's actually pretty impressive for a dirty, oily hands. Now let's top coat it. So high shine for this time, all over. and cure it. The older one is almost ready, so I'm going to use under cure gel and see it how this will turn out. Oh wow, I love this one. That was the best thing I could do. I don't believe, you don't believe? How quick? How good? How it's good? Transfer. I know. See, cameraman doesn't believe. I mean, obviously, on this stand, it's quite tiny. difficult. Huh? Because that's so tiny. I know, it's tiny and it's like I've got oily hands and... and... and we are both impressed. Okay, let me just transfer this dot here. And top coat it. Ta-da, design finished. <laughs> I love those kind of quick jobs. Unbelievable, so pretty. What we paint on the next one, maybe a bow. Yeah, let's do a bow. Let's keep it like really quick and simple so you can guys see it that sometimes we can create a really beautiful designs in a matter of seconds. So bow on this one. I'm painting, oh gosh, that was ugly. I'm painting a line, then I'm paint another line. This one will be quite difficult to transfer because it's on the corners as well. I don't like doing in the corners. Then we are going to do the bow. One. And some ribbon. Gosh, guys, hi. I hope the camera can catch it. If not, I would maybe paint it. Oh, yeah, hardly visible. Seat, um, what I will do to make your life easier, I've got a pen in here. I don't have a piece of paper, but I've got a wipe. And what I did paint it, it was like this, then a bow, and then just like this. <coughs> Simple. <laughs> Uh, we're really making this design extremely simple. This one is finished and ready to go on the display board. And it's wow. Like, wow. I'm going to do it on my clients. Like, I would love it on my nails. Like, entire set, just white nails. And, like, let's do it this one in the middle because it's so pretty. Okay, now this one is a Christmas tree. And we've got it top coated. So I can start painting the next uh, bits and pieces on it. 
So I want some star in here. I'm painting like a small triangle, line, another line, and then drag it to the top, drag it to the top, and then I'm just going to reshape it a little bit. Like make it thicker. Okay, we've got the star. And then let's do some chain. on the bottom as well. Belting tool and couple Christmas bubbles. Tara, sprinkle with the sugar. We could not. Uh, but yes. But yes. <laughs> Cameraman says, but yes, okay, let's do it. So sprinkle. Now this one, the bow is ready and the bow will be hard to do it, as I said, because uh, it's on the sides. So let me see it, how it will work out. I'm going to go in the middle first because the bow part is the most important part. And then ideally, I want to use this Sharpie. There we are. So if I've got something more flat, it's easier than the tip which is moving, you know, guys. This way I can not miss any single place. There we are. What we miss in here? Do you know? A gem. We miss a gem in here. So the gem we are going to place will be... Oh, let's make it elegant. And I had some pearls in here. Oh, I've got one. There we are. See, the pearl is nice. Cook it. Remove the sugar. That's nice. We've got a second one. We have created three super fast, but also elegant. Like with this look of gold and white. Amazing design. So this one is ready to be top coated. High shine. If I, if I could be like more precise, I could touch up this one more a little bit with the transfer foil gel. Probably if you touch the transfer foil, you transfer. No, I think it was me when painting. Okay. Oh. Actually? Actually, okay, he was right. No, it was me painting, like I didn't paint it nice. So the choices you've got is either go back with the transfer foil gel or just scrape it away, the stuff, to kind of make it more straight. Basically, I'm missing like a one dot. I'm not bothered about one dot. Come on, don't be as fussy. They were quick designs, like quick sound designs. Cook it in and then... We've got three designs created in a matter of minutes, uh, guys. And that's what I really... I, but the snowflake one is unbelievable. Like, it's so pretty. We could do a Christmas bubble one as well. 
I could actually do it one more. Uh, so amazing and so quick. Let's place this one here. It's not cured yet, so I have to use something. There we are. And that's what we have created. I'm sending you glittery hugs and bye for now.